Stick around to the end of the video to see what's coming next from the makers of Honest Game Trailers. The following trailer is rated S for spoilers. From the company that brought you some of the most iconic open world games, and also the Rabbids, comes a game so massive, so packed to the brim with garbage, it'd probably be easier to read the actual Odyssey instead. Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Dive headfirst into Ubisoft's bread and butter series that painstakingly recreates moments in history so you can murder everyone that lived there. As it continues the transition it began in Origins from an open world stealth game to just trying to be The Witcher 3. But this time, they let you be a woman. Uh, what happened to Evie though? Remember that whole trailer you guys did? Guess it doesn't count unless you can make her bang an NPC. Walk a day in the sandals of the Mystios. A mercenary for hire who's basically an ancient superhero. As they try to take down a sinister cult that's taken over the Grecian world. Only to find out your dead sibling is the leader of said cult. And your father wasn't even your real father. And you're the descendants of ancient aliens? It's like a Greek tragedy crossed with info wars. And you thought Kratos had it rough, at least he didn't literally get thrown off a mountain Tekken style. Until much later in life. Experience an absolute cluster f of gameplay systems, tossing every AC mechanic and then some into a big pile for you to sit through for 120 hours. Layering the standard stealth gameplay with a metric ton of loot that's immediately obsolete. Thousands of treasures to find with your barely explained X-ray Vision Eagle drone. Extensive skill trees, most of which you won't have room for in your skill bar. Five unique types of generic side quests. The boat stuff from Black Flag, cause sure, why not? A mercenary system that's just the nemesis system from the Mordor games, but worse. A web of assassination targets that forces you to do random side content to progress. Giant army battles whose main effect on the story is what color the NPCs wear. And everyone's favorite, jumping out of the frame story every 20 hours to remind you you're actually a lady in a VR helmet. Look, some people want their games to be stuffed like a foie gras goose, and I have to respect that. Take down one of Odyssey's many forts full of hapless dudes as you sneak from bush to bush, whistling a single guy over, then savagely murdering him while his friends are just feet away, until you get hung up on the geometry of something and get noticed. Then just slice up everyone anyway cause you're an inhuman killing machine. But if some mercenaries show up to spoil your fun, enjoy a 5 minute fight where you slowly chip away their health bar, because apparently in this game, all mercenaries are descended from the gods. But hey, they still die real good when you spartan kick them off a cliff cause as pandery as this thing is, when it works, it still rules. Gape in awe at the standout feature of Odyssey, the microtransactions, that let you purchase powerful items, maps, money, and experience, in a nefarious system that supposedly gives you the freedom to play the game however you want, but locks areas into specific level brackets that will have you grinding just to keep going, as every main quest jumps two levels for no reason. All the side quests give you a measly amount of experience, and anything a single level above you takes you to Pound Town, in a system that hides behind the ambiguity of RPG grinding to make a quick buck, trying to charge you an extra $10 to not be bored of the other $60 you spend. Look, if I wanted to be charged to grind, I would just play a Korean MMO, okay? So polish that spear, and get ready to screen 300 references alone in your living room, for another Assassin's Creed experience that definitely is an odyssey, that tests the limits of your patience as much as your skill, but despite its flaws, gets one thing right, letting you do all the NPCs. That's right, I collected five herbs for you. Take me to the bone zone, baby. Starring. Cast me outside, how about da? Big sexios. Old man yells at sea. Gone, mama, gone. Daddy's home too. Hysterectomy. Gerard Butler. Jason Manzukas. Eyes wide shut. And the Greek chorus, The Witcher 300. I don't know much about Greek culture, but if there's one thing I did learn, the Greeks were really into goat sex. Thanks, Ubisoft. Knowledge is power. Make sure to check out our brand new show, POS, where we take your favorite video game heroes and show you why they're actually horrible trash people. Come for the feeling of superiority, stay for the dick jokes. And remember, they're just theories, non-copyright infringing fair use video game theories.
Comment below on what you want me to read in my epic voice. Your ish is on fleek, Commander. And that is not a statement this council makes lightly. What is a tail if not a neck that doesn't have a face? Don't you bibbity boop me. I invented the bibbity boop. Who you gonna call? Luigi.